to work today. Storm Team 4's Marie LaRosa is here with the forecast. Certainly <laughs> feeling chilly. We need that heavier coat today. It, uh, yes, it is. And I, I love the cold weather. You guys know this about mm -hmm. me. So I'm going to speak on behalf of okay. the cold weather lovers. It's really pretty out. We have bone dry air. So it's like crystal clear. We've got 33 right now at Central Park, 32 in Islip. We're down to 30 in White Plains, 35 in Newark. Just a hint of a wind is going to keep the wind chill. Obviously a little bit of an issue. It'll feel like the 20s out there this morning and then with the gusty winds later on today the wind chill will stay in the 30s but as I mentioned it is a bone dry crystal clear gorgeous view of the city here looking toward the east as we see the sun and or should say the sky brightening that sun up in just about an hour or so the view via earth cam 42 by one o'clock at this point though the gusts will be in that 20 plus mile per hour range uh, getting that little cutting edge to the 40s there and then by this evening dinner time temperature around 37 and with clear skies, light winds, temperatures do drop pretty quickly. All right, Lauren, anything else to watch out there? Things are because I mean, that's one of the important things that makes Thanksgiving and every meal we have so wonderful, right, Maria? Right, and, and think of that when you're sitting down, 24, op a 24 hour operation, amazing. All right, we are plenty chilly outside of those freezed, freezer areas. 33 now at Central Park, Merrick as well, 30 in White Plains, and we are bone dry, crystal clear for the most part, beautiful view from Earth Cam, looking at that brightening sky, the sun up in about 45 minutes or so. 41 and sunny for midday, but that's about as good as it gets. High temperatures in the low 40s, wind chills in the 30s all day. We do have a decent warm up. It happens on Thanksgiving, but the chill is back pretty quickly and it comes along with some rain and wind. I'll time that out for you and take a look at holiday travel weather across the country coming up in just a bit. Thanks so much, Maria. Also ahead, a staff out and we've cooled down. A look at the radar and satellite picture shows that. See a little bit of blue. We're trying to see if we get any snow flurries in here through Pike and Sullivan County. So far, so good. But if you are traveling in the northeast New England, this is kind of the travel slowdown for us today, along with the gusty winds. But along I-81 and I-90, the lake effect snow showers coming off of Ontario and Lake Erie could be enough to reduce visibility and, of course, the snowfall itself on the roadway. So just a heads up there. Otherwise, as we talk travel across the country, really quiet. Uh, Atlanta, by the way, has officially dipped to 32 degrees. We have yet to officially dip to 32 at Central Park, so they beat us, at least for now. Uh, that Pacific Northwest system, that could slow down air travel for SeaTac, but otherwise, uh, this system moving eastward will eventually bring some showers from Cincinnati to the Gulf Coast on Wednesday, I should say on Thursday, Thanksgiving. We're ahead of it, so we will not see the wet weather. We we are going to stay dry. It does catch up with us, though, on Friday. So if that's your travel day, this could be a little messy, too, with the wind and the rain, especially early on Friday, and the familiar snow shower situation setting up behind it, along, again, with those gusty winds. A lot of cold air, too. So we're going to be very chilly into the weekend. But by Sunday and Monday, we're going to be watching this. It may not produce much in, as far as precipitation goes for us, but it'll bring back the chill, sort of reinforce it, and definitely some gusty winds, too, by Monday. But looking out there now, it's gorgeous. Those blue skies on its way, on their way. 33 now out the door. We're headed up to 43 degrees. Northwest winds about 10 to 20 miles per hour. We'll keep the wind chill in the 30s. We get there. Sub-freezing temperatures tonight, not just in the city, of course, but outlying areas. We do manage 45 tomorrow in the, with the. Well, yeah. they did. They really did a great and job. And uh, excellent point. You do have to go to a far yeah, exactly. to see a light display like that. Level. And pay a toll if you're yes. going to New York. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Nobody so. wants to do that. Love that, love that. <laughs> uh, definitely feeling like the holiday spirit weather-wise, just minus the snow globe effect. Okay. <laughs>